Hey everyone, as you see down there, it is Amazon.com package opening time. That's right, package opening. Um, I, only, I was good, it might have been a bigger package, honestly, but uh, due to the fact that, you know, we're going, me and my mom are going to go to, it, me and my mom, my family, basically are going to go through a, 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 ma a major change in a, in a sense very soon, basically moving. Uh, I only decided to go with two things, and the two things I've been wanting, and one I've been wanting since I heard about, I've been wanting to get actually since I heard it was going to be released as a complete set, as a complete series, uh, at the beginning of last month, and the other I wanted to get because of the 30th anniversary. Now I do understand that uh, a friend of mine was had pre-ordered um, a copy or two uh, for both me and him. Uh, but I understand if maybe that friend canceled it uh, due to some personal issues, financial is reasons. I do understand and respect that and I appreciate uh, the gesture that that friend gave me in, in considering, in wanting, well not considering, but wanting to get me a copy of what's in here. So I do appreciate the, I do appreciate the consideration and the thoughtfulness, I really do. But I can understand if maybe there was a, you know, maybe a misstep, maybe you may have ordered just one and that was it, or, or financially you just couldn't do it, or maybe some other personal issues, I, I don't know. So, um, but I do thank that person for the consideration and, uh, you know, God bless them for, for that. And, but I decided, you know what, might as well get it and, uh, well, I can. Uh, my job did have it, but it only had the DVD version, and uh, well, that left me with no choice but to go to Amazon, and even if I tried at my job, uh, according to another Facebook friend, uh, DH, we're going to call him, uh, my job's online site ran out of stock. I mean, it was there, but it ran out, and then finally it came, so what have you. So, uh, what am I talking about that's in here? that you know is what I want is something I want to, I want to get my hands on now that it's a complete set as well as something that deals with the 30th anniversary well let's open it up and find find out and ironically this came when I was I left my house for a little while it was about a little over an hour ago I came back you know, a little over an hour ago 80 something minutes or something like that I came back and it was on the shelf it was on the it was on the porch and something told me that uh, this is where, well, something told me it was going to show up when I was gone. I had just gone out to get a few things, and um, something told me it was going to show up, and it, and it did. So here it is. And I do have something else coming from Amazon tomorrow, but I'm not going to do a package opening because it's for my mom. Apparently, my store doesn't have uh, the CD, but it's out. It's the Casting Crowns, the very next big thing CD. So I got that for her, and hopefully she'll like it. Uh, but anyway, let's open up and see what this is, exactly what is the complete set series, a set I've been, I wanted to get my hands on, and what other has to do with 30th anniversary. And fortunately it's got a tab. Open it up. Oh yeah. I did, now here's the thing, I did this overnight. I could have done the two day shipping and have it come tomorrow, but since tomorrow's Saturday, you know, and you know, my mom's going to be off. I don't want to, you know, have any interruptions, especially in the morning. And of course, I work tomorrow, so <laughs> that doesn't work out. So, uh, what do we have? Well, first up, it is the complete series of Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats. That's right, this is Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats. It's a complete series set uh, by Mill Creek. I'll probably do a review on that in a little while, so it's pretty nice. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why didn't Mill Creek do this in the first place? I think they wanted to test the waters out with the first two volumes, and then I think they realized that, it was, that those two volumes were selling well enough that they figured, you know what, might as well put it out, put the whole series out and go with that. Uh, ironically, ironically, the, the series itself is airing on Star's family on Star's Encore family channel on the uh, 
basically what's known as Encore Family and Adventure, or Family Channel. It's on there. It's on the ENCFA Stars Encore Family. It's on there, so, and it's aired twice a day. First episode, uh, one episode, well, basically what I'm saying is it's aired twice a day. Basically, one episode airs at around 12, the 12.30, 12.30, 12.45 frame, and then it gets repeat. The same episode that gets aired around the 12.30, 12.45 time frame uh, gets repeated around the 9.30 time frame at night. So, uh, like I said in one video, it seems that Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats have become a prime time uh, show thanks to Stars Encore. Like I said, they've become somewhat of a primetime show thanks to Stars Encore. Had to let my dog out. She's probably going to go sun. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, it's ironic because now it's on Stars Encore Family Channel. Basically the Encore Family uh, Channel. And uh, like I said, it gets aired twice a day. Basically it's the same episode once in the afternoon and once in the... Let, it runs around the 9.30, 10 o'clock hour at night. So... It's a day, so basically it's still a weekday afternoon cartoon, but it's also a primetime cartoon, so go figure that. But yeah, it's Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats. I'll probably do a review on this in a little bit because I've heard some people talk about uh, the box structure and everything, so we'll get into that later. Then, next up, like I said, uh, my friend who I do appreciate the gesture and the consideration of going out of the way to try to get me a copy when they pre-ordered it, uh, I, I appreciate the gesture and everything, and I can understand if something came up. Uh, so, I, you know, God bless you for considering, for the consideration and trying to get me a copy. Like I said, I can understand if things, met, if things, personal things were happening behind behind the scenes, and you know, maybe you financially couldn't do it, or, or maybe there was a mess up somewhere, and you ended up just getting one copy for yourself. I don't really know, but I do appreciate it appreciate the gesture and I thank you very much for it but what did I get that has to do with 30th anniversary well it's steel it's a steel book and it's the one and only Transformers the movie 30th anniversary edition and this is something that a lot of fans like myself have been waiting for uh, we've been waiting for it We've been waiting basically for a North American Blu-ray release. I mean, I, like several fans, like Zero Nizerak and Optobotomous, you know, we have, um, you, you know, we have the, uh, the, the, the Madman Entertainment version, uh, Blu-ray that is, but this one is supposed to be a lot different. It's actually got the PG rating, and it actually has, let's see, it says PG, Includes scenes of fantasy, violence, and mild language. So at least it gives it a reason there. But yeah, this is what this is what my friend was going to send me. He was actually just going to send me the regular Blu-ray. But like I said, I do understand if something came up, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the consideration, and uh, God bless you for it. And hopefully, you know things work out for you uh, personally. And you know, as my mom would say. You know, just leave it to God, put it in God's hands and pray, and things will be all right. But, yeah, this is the uh, Blu-ray. I'll probably do a review and unpackaging on the Blu-ray as well. So, yeah, there it is. Transformers, Steelbook, uh, Transformers the movie, Steelbook, Blu-ray. Again, been wanting, again, a lot of us... Um, a lot of us have been waiting for a North American Blu-ray release. I actually like how it says first time on Blu-ray, but it's not really the first time on Blu-ray, like I say, if you consider the Mad Mad Entertainment one. But this is actually supposed to be a lot better. It's supposed to be a uh, remaster, a 4K remaster, so we'll see what that looks like. But I got it right here, and it's the Steelbook. So uh, that's about it. Is there a receipt? No. So yeah, that's about it for the uh, Blu-rays, uh, for the pack Amazon.com package opening. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like, and I am out.